Good Thursday morning, December 2nd, 2021. Appalachian Trail southbound hike day number 120. It's the unofficial four months. Four months will actually be in a couple days, but if you just go by the simplified version of 30 days equals a month, then this is four months. Stayed at the Pex Corner shelter last night. Was the only one here as well. That's two nights in a row. I didn't see anybody hiking yesterday. So for being one of the most visited national parks, uh, I gotta go this way. Look at that. There was a beautiful sunset off that way last night. And there's only like one bar of service right here. So I came here to check some stuff on my phone and had a lovely sun, sunset. I think I said sunrise. A lovely sunset last night. But it's like a 0.4 spur trail to get down to this shelter, whatever. And today will be a 21 mile day going to the Double Spring Shelter. But I'll be going through Newfound Gap which is kind of like the halfway point through the Smokies. And then this evening, I'll be up on Klingman's Dome, which is the tallest point on the AT. So that ought to be pretty freaking sweet. First view of the day. Who wouldn't want to get high in the Smokies? Look at that. Can you take me higher? Yeah, we're about 10 feet higher right here. Smoke pulling off from the mountains. Sun's coming out, warming the skies. It's gonna be a high in the 60s. A lovely December day for hiking. I see more ice. Well, it'll be fun getting up that. Got my micro spikes. I ran into uh, a park ranger first time for seeing 
an official on this entire trail. Almost hiked 2,000 miles for four months. And I've seen one person who's responsible for the place. Just kind of, uh, I mean, it's a good thing and a bad thing, right? You're not getting hassled all the time for silly stuff, but just makes you wonder like how little does the country care about it if there's only a few people who are here to like make sure everyone's following rules and stuff. But I feel like generally most people out here are following rules. So that's good. But yeah, all yesterday, I didn't see one person anywhere. There was no one at the shelter the night before. There was no one at the shelter last night. I didn't see anyone until I stopped at this shelter. And a couple people pulled in and just checked the shelter and left, little day hikers. That's because like less than three miles up ahead is newfound gap it's like the one road that cuts through the smokies so it's kind of like your exit plan if stuff's not going right and it's an easy day hike and i feel like that's kind of the summit i guess for people it seems so i just passed a bunch of people uh who are out for a little hike but the trail is like nice and smooth and so clearly it's well traveled I'll take it. I got a big bag of trash that I want to throw away and the park ranger said there's a trash can there, so that's good. There's no point carrying that. So I had weighed my food. I eat the same kind of food all the time. And four days of food is about 11 pounds for me. And I saved all the packaging one four days extent of food. And all that packaging was a pound. So like, when you're packing in and packing out, like you're still carrying all this extra weight. So I have one more night, I have two nights and two days of hiking, plus the rest of the afternoon today. So looking forward to getting rid of just plastic and mylar and... So although I've already been in North Carolina, this is the first time I've hit a state line sign. So I got my picture there. But yeah, time to keep walking. Heading south. Just had my lunch. Answered a lot of the same questions. <laughs> for mini celebrity at this parking lot. Let's see if I get run over by a car. Back on the trail we go. Klingman's Dome, 7.9 miles. According to that, Yeah, I got some food. I yogied a little bit. <laughs> I got a thing of uh, whole wheat crackers. I got some apples, which I needed to replace my apple. Apples help me stay safe. And yeah, I chatted with some nice folks. It is funny to be a celebrity for five minutes. Although I did turn my lunch into like an hour and a half, but whatever, nice little spot. First time I've hit one of these things. Go up a ramp, and down a ramp. Not sure what that stops. Wild hog. That's gonna keep wild hogs from attacking me. How about that? <laughs> we go for some bacon right now. I'd punch a wild hog in the face, make it bacon. I don't know. Virginia was pretty because I hit it during peak foliage, especially up in the Shenandoahs. But now that I'm in the Smokies, I'm loving this. This just reminds me of being back home. Minus the patches of rhododendron off to the right. <laughs> but everything's covered in moss. It's nice and green in here. Even the sound of the wind having to be 
buffeted by all the pine needles. This has a particular sound to it. This is beautiful. We're on our way to Klingman's Dome, highest point on the AT. I've heard mixed things from different people that I saw at the parking lot, if it's open or not. I'm assuming it's open to walk to, just probably not to drive to. And hopefully, I'm gonna be there for sunset. And you'll get to see what it looks like. But this is just lovely hiking right here. Might be hard to read, but that says Klingman's Dome Tower. This way. Oh, I can start to see it. So I think the road up here is closed, so it's just gonna be me. Oh, how do I get up there? Well, let's walk up there. Well, it's pretty windy up here, but oh my God, look at that. clouds hiding some of those mountains what do we got Fontana Lake can't see it I decided to wait up here and watch the sunset it looks like it's gonna be pretty we got all that fog over there it's almost getting like rainbow colors and then it's just a bunch of fog and smoke over yonder. Can't wait to see what colors pop once the sun gets down there. It's not too much in the upper sky, but that low level should get pretty nice looking. It's nice looking off that way. Wait and see. Get blown around. Well, I think it was worth it. A little chilly, but the colors up here are just gorgeous. night hiking not my favorite activity but this part of the trail is not so treacherous it was a little sketchy back there it was kind of hopping from rocks and stuff this is nice and smooth I got maybe like mile mile and a half to the shelter did get to see a good sunset I don't think the pictures on my phone came out that great, but I took some with the GoPro. I think they will have come out a little better. But it's mild out. It's like, I don't know how to explain it. It smells like spring up in Maine. You can kind of feel the moisture in the air, but there's still a coolness to it. And then also, I'm getting whiffs of the pine sap. 
So although I don't really like to night hike, this doesn't feel so bad because it feels like I'm at home somehow. I'm comforted in a little way. We'll see if I go a hat trick tonight. I probably just jinxed it, but I don't know if there'll be somebody at the shelter or not.